Hello, everyone, good hand. Welcome back to Last Way Metroid Prime. Today, we're gonna head back to Yerefect Temple and, uh, not yet finish up the game, most likely. Unless I somehow manage to do everything extremely quickly, which I doubt, so. There's that. Um. Actually, I'm gonna switch to the technology here. Because. Mainly just because it's what, it's what I want to have out here. Because I think I'm going to have my super missiles here. Hello, weird thingy. I don't know if you were already all red before, but certainly not. Weren't there seedlings in this hallway, too? I don't know, remember. I don't remember, nor do I care. I think this is the path I'm going to... Wait, no, it's not. Never mind. That's the path I didn't go first last time, so I'm like, wait, I'm supposed to go there first now, but then I realized, oh yeah, it's because I didn't scan that, and this was the right thing to go. So, uh, usually I leave uh, the artifact that was here for last, but didn't do that now, so let's just see what happens. So I don't know if some of those statues become available to be scanned later, but uh, I certainly can scan them. Right. This time they've released their lock on the impact crater. Let's go see what's inside of it. Except, oh my god, it's Ridley! Ah! Okay, I think my voice is alright. I had I had to do it again, though. It'll be... It'll, it, it's, it's, it's vaguely become the running gag. Uh, my throat's kind of not alright. Well, that was actually kind of taxing on me, but... No, I'm alright. It's just kind of, uh... If it starts getting kind of gravelly, I probably just need to take a drink after this segment. And then Ridley just... bombs us. Souls. Fun and profit. Maybe just for profit. That would actually be that fun. No, I kid. At least actually really cool boss. I freaking love his uh, battle theme, so that's always good. I think his his battle theme might be one of my uh, favorite songs in the entire series. So. That's why I always get the side when he shows up because I like his battle theme a lot. And there I got hit, but oh. I thought these pillars were supposed to give me health. Oh, there it is. Hello. How you doing, buddy? Do do. Okay, they they do give you health. And then he buggers off. All right. That is not gone for long. Oh, can I hit him? Can I hit him? Nope. Okay. So I'm gonna try to nail him on the way over here. Gotta do it again, though. No, nope, that didn't work. <clears throat> I'm not taking too much damage, though. Boom! Oh, I thought you were supposed to do something. Oh. I think this is it. Wait, no? Oh, he did bombs. I was like, wait, what did he do? Not doing too bad. Not doing too great either, but... I'm absolutely awful. Come back up. 
familiar with another super missile. Or two. Let's get some more. Oh, okay. Oh, no, he's gone. And he's gone. Let's switch the bar menu for now. Maybe I can actually nail him on the way over here. Oh, nope, he certainly got me, though. I guess the joke's on me. I was hoping that would hit him, but I don't think it did. Boom. What are you gonna do now? Well, maybe you're not gonna have to hit our super missile. Or maybe you won't. And now we get him down to a quarter of his health. And he's gonna land. And somehow this last quarter is gonna turn into possibly the worst. Not possibly. It's definitely gonna turn into the worst part of the fight. Uh, yeah, ground-based matter Ridley does not fuck around. Health bar just plain up lies to you because he didn't lose that much health. Shoot him in the chest a bunch of times. Hoping for him to die. Mouth. Pump full plasma. Uh, I don't know if I said it in the last segment. I said it in the initial version of the last segment, but uh, this boss uh, might have been the one that killed me. I, uh, I, don't know, I feel like I might have actually beaten him like a pirate after all. But then have Ridley uh, ruin my day. Because he kind of likes to do that. Whether it be Meta Ridley, regular Ridley, or Iron Ted. Uh, they kind of have a tendency to ruin my runs. Mother Brain is far worse than that, no. Screw Mother Brain, I hate that fight. Mother Brain's hard in the original Metroid, like the NES one. And that's ridiculous. I don't know what I would think, uh, what I'd say is the hardest boss in this series. Uh, the original Metroid Mother Brain is certainly very, very annoying and kind of terrible to fight legitimately. Yeah, he does not take much damage in this phase. I don't know why they didn't, uh, Actually, no, I do know why it didn't. Uh, I was gonna say, I don't know why they didn't just make him, uh, switch phase at half health. But that's, that's to make you think that you won. That's, that's exactly what they wanted to go for here, is that, to make you think that you won. Also, it's too bad that I didn't, that the, uh, boost ball strike doesn't work anymore in this game. Basically, in the original American GameCube release, uh, I think they didn't set a damage for the boost ball against him, because, like, every single weapon is set to do a certain amount of damage. Probably, obviously, it's supposed to do the most, but, uh... They apparently had set the boost ball in the first phase, or hadn't set it, so it was at the default, which is basically doing an infinite amount of damage. So, uh... If you hit him with the boost ball in the first phase in the original GameCube version, uh... I don't, I'm not sure about the re-releases of the GameCube version of the player's choice one, but I know at least in the original release, uh, if you hit him with the boost ball, he'd immediately just go down into the wingless phase. Uh, if he doesn't do that and you're doing a low percent run, then uh, good luck to you, because that saved you a lot of trouble. Even though th this always is the hardest part of the fight. Especially if you don't know how to dodge that supercharger move, which... Starts doing multiple times in a row if he goes down far enough. Oh! I think he might start doing it now, because I got him into his, uh. 
now I'm really starting to get hurt. Because well, he's doing double laser, so he might do double charges as well. And there I go. I didn't dodge him. The best way to do that is to just uh, jump the sides. Because for some reason the, uh, the side dash doesn't always work for me. He isn't very hard, it's just that he takes a long time to be defeated. And if you don't have much health, like on a low percent run, or you're playing in hyper mode, uh, that can get kind of terrible. Right, lock it, locking, not, uh, breaking your lock on him, and uh, jumping aside is the best way to do it. What I was doing was correct earlier, uh, it's just that you kind of also want to break the lock down so you don't keep facing him. And lock on is uh, easily enough for you to get It's going to be like that. Got him down another little bit because he didn't know the little dance. Oh, and there it failed. If he gets really close to you, then this is really hard to dodge. Oh, still, still gonna do this move? I wonder how you're even staying up long enough in the air to uh, charge up your feet. I guess he's just jumping. Oh, did he just shoot over me? And there he just didn't shoot me for some reason. Overall, this uh, fight is very clickety clack because, uh. Yeah, that's just. I don't know why the button, uh, why the A button on the Wiimo is so clicky. But, it's kind of always been. It was that way in Okami, it was that way in. Uh, anything else I've done that adds the button usage. It's like that here you use it for firing, which means there's uh, Oh, oh, wait. And there I just totally missed my chance. So I was blocked down to him, and he just kind of dodged me. Um, as some people, or I think I might have mentioned this before, but I don't know a lot of people might have known. Uh, I'm still one of the people who actually does want the Glee to be in uh, Switch Brothers. I know it's probably not going to happen, but, uh, for various reasons, but I, I'm, I'm still hopeful that eventually don't run out of characters to put in instead, and, like, uh, they'll eventually also run out of bullshit excuses to not put them in, but at least that's what I'm hoping. But, uh, basically... Uh, one of the complaints was, oh, well, like, he can't, like, infinite fly in that game. And uh, one of my solutions to that was actually uh, put in this version specifically of Meta Ridley, have his uh, bowel intro, or his, like, intro bowel entrance. What do you call those things? I don't know what you call them, but uh, basically, when he enters the field, have him land down with its wings burning out like he does in this phase of the fight, and then basically just have him fight like this. Having the giant laser continuously spraying across the field might be a bit much, but I suppose you could uh, work around that. But he could have that, that big leap discharge attack. He could have that... He could actually... He could have that big laser just be like... Either like Pit's Arrow or Bob's Laser, rather. And then, uh. Oh, I think if I can hit him into another damageable phase, that we will be good here. Come on, Ridley. Yeah, more. Yeah, more. 
Open your mouth. There we go. Oh, okay. Apparently he needed exactly one more hit. But, yeah, there we go. Okay, that, that's, that's my, uh... They should put... That, that was basically already my they should put, uh, meta Ridley and Smash instead of regular Ridley, so it's such a problem. Because it's still the same character, it's just a different incarnation of him. And then Pro Metroid Prime deserves to be acknowledged. Also, hello, Chozo Ghost. Except these are these are the friendly Chozo Ghosts. Because they... We opened the portal for me. In which I awkwardly stand around. And then go into the Impact Crater. For fun and profit. This area is kind of cool. Uh, it's a save machine. Uh, usually I don't like doing this, but I'm gonna save, because I really don't want to do the Ridley fight again, in case I die further up ahead, if I, uh... Because I'm basically just gonna get up to the final boss, and if I do that and I die there, then I'm gonna have to fight Ridley again, which is gonna suck. Hello, wait a second. A new creature entry! Oh my fucking god, I just realized. Oh my fucking god. Phase on charge reptiles, natives of Talon 4, Limit Gector, Blah blah blah, Radiance Phase on the Okay. I just realized. I fucked up. I majorly fucked up. And I already saved. God damn it, I shouldn't have. I didn't scan Meta Ridley. Oh well, um. Guess I'm gonna. Basically, get rid of this file, and then uh, I'll, I'll play up to the final boss. Get rid of this file, actually scan Meta Ridley, and then do the final boss. Damn it. Oh my god, I can't believe I did that. And I saved. Oh, I don't usually save in the, in the things, but I really don't want to find Meta Ridley again. Except now I really do, because I would scan him this time. Damn it. Yeah, the fight went really well, but I forgot to scan frickin' Meta Ridley. Damn it. Okay, well at least that means I don't have to uh, worry about... If I do this once, no matter how I get up to the final boss, I don't have to do it again on screen. <sighs> yeah, I got my missiles resupplied. Uh, good thing that I like playing through this game, and I wouldn't actually- I don't actually necessarily mind that much to play through it again. But, uh... That kind of sucks. Um, hmm... Actually, you know what? Uh... Do I want to... No, I'm thinking of what I want to do. Uh... Because I might... I don't know. I don't know, actually. I was going to say, I might show off... Something that I would only be able to do if I have to, or if I beat. Alright. Can I scan that? Hello, you. Uh. I'm not gonna be fighting you because you're the final boss. Uh. I'll have to consider what I'm gonna do here. Um, whether I'm gonna fight this thing right now, or I'm gonna do something else. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I'll really have to think about that. So, for now, I'm gonna thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys all next time, when, uh, hopefully I won't be an idiot, and we're gonna fight the final boss. So, for now, I reluctantly say goodbye.